Hi, welcome to the Quick Start Guide for Universal Character Customization. Since this is a Quick Start Guide, I will be rushing things a bit, but be sure to have a look at the documentation, uh, which is included in a PDF, or just contact me if I've forgotten to explain something. The first step is to open the Mesh Customizer window. Just go to Window, and UCC Mesh Customizer. We'll be using this in a bit when we create our modifications, so just keep it handy. The next step is to add a mesh customizer to the root of our character. So first of all we drag in our character, and then we select his root, right click, UCC Mesh Customizer, and add mesh customizer. This adds this component here. The Mesh Customizer enables live editing in the editor, and it's also used to access modifications from code. The next step is to pick a mesh in your character and add a modification. So in this case we are going to select his body mesh, right click, UCC Mesh Customizer, and New Modification. The next step is vertex volume. The vertex volumes are shapes or tools that are used to select vertices. The two basic types are sphere and box. We can use as many of these as we want by duplicating them, simply by doing this. You just press Ctrl D and you can make as many of them as you want and they compound into one selection but in this case we're just going to use one box to select the vertices on his ear. There we go. The next step is we want to do is to have a look at the vertex selection. That's this component here. This combines all the vertices we've selected using the volumes into one big selection. You could choose to mirror the selection here too, which we're going to do since we we want both ears to change. So we're just going to tick this box that says enable mirroring. Um, one thing to note is that there are tooltips for all of these fields, so if you don't understand what one of them does, or you'd like some more information, just hover your mouse over them and it will show you what they do. The next thing we want to have a look at is the weighter, which is this component here. This adds weight to our weights to our vertices. We need to do this in order to make sure our modifications look as seamless as possible. Red vertices are affected the most and blue vertices are hardly affected. So right now we're just going to deselect the vertex bounds and vertex volume outlines. These are just modification toggles, I mean um, gizmo toggles. So they basically just, they're just visual things and they don't really affect what the modification does. So let's hide the transformation as well. If I move the uh, weight center on the x-axis, you can see that all the weight is emanating from this little blob here. And the closer it gets to a certain vertex, the higher the vertex um, weight goes up. Um, you can increase the overall scale of the whole um, weighting, or you can increase and decrease it on certain axes. So in this case we could make it wider, it's thinner, but we're going to keep it at default for this. The next step is the transformer. Like the name says, um, it transforms our vertex selection. It's this component here. 
Um, it uses the weights from the waiter by default, but you can turn this on and off by unticking this box here. Optionally, you can remove the waiter altogether, but we're not going to do that in this case. There are two types of transformers right now, TRS, which is Transform, Rotation and Scale, and there are, there's one which is Scale by Normals. Scale by Normals will basically move each vertex in the direction of the vertex normal. And we can see that is not what we want here. Yeah. So we're going to go back to TRS and we're going to add one to the scale multiplier. And we can see the ear's already gotten big. But as you can see, this area is kind of distorted. So we're going to go back up here to our weighting and we're going to change it until it's how we want it to be. Um, we can also tell that we've got a vertex here which we should have selected. So we're going to go back to our vertex volume and just move it over, or rather move it inwards until that's selected. Yep, looks much better. So yeah, that's the transformer view. The next thing are parameters. Parameters are basically um, components that you can add onto a transformer and it lets you blend between two presets of a transformer. You can think of it as like a customization slider in a game. You can have more than one on the same um, transformer and they'll blend additively. So we're going to call this one ear size and we want the scale multiplier to be 1. And for the negative one, um, these values are actually multiplied by the parameter amount. So at minus 1 we just apply 1 on the scale. That's the exact opposite. Um, for now we're going to hide the weight and the transformation gizmos as well since they're in the way. And yeah, um, that's our first parameter. We can just hide the vertices now and we can just play with the slider to see what it looks like. Looks okay. Could probably use with a little tweak. There we go. And that's our ear size transformation. Now just to demonstrate what else you can do, you can just add a new parameter and put ear angle in here. And instead of changing the scale, this time we're going to change the rotation. So on the positive end we're going to have backwards ears. And on the negative end we're going to make the ears flip forward. And we can now play with the slider as well. So we've got our ear angle slider. And we've got our ear size slider. And they work in combination. And yeah, there we have it. Uh, two modifications you can play around with in under 10 minutes. Um, thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions about this asset, just email me at the email address shown below. Um, and I'll get back to you shortly. In the meantime, thank you for having a look at my asset, and um, I hope you enjoy it.